There was a certain king who had it all except gratitude. So he was discontent. One of my teachers told this, this parable. He said this certain king, he had it all, but he didn't have gratitude. And he would go on walks outside of his, uh, outside of his castle in the woods outside of his castle. And he noticed a pauper, a very poor man next to a tree. And this poor man, he had a glass of water. He had some, a little crust of bread, barely any clothes to cover his aura. But this pauper, this poor man, he was singing the praises of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So the king approached him and said, why are you so happy? You have nothing. And the man said, why shouldn't I be? I have it all. I have water. I have some food. I have clothes that cover my aura. I have blue skies. The birds are chirping. I have my health. I have the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala spinning in my heart and in my tongue. Why shouldn't I be happy? And this man was an arif billah, this pauper, and he recognized the king. He said, why are you so unhappy? You're the king. And the king said, I don't know. I have it all, but I'm unhappy. So the pauper said to the king, if you were stranded in the desert and you were going to die of thirst, how much of your kingdom would you give for a half a glass of water? How much of your kingdom would you give for half a glass of water? And the king said, half of my kingdom I would give. And the man said to him, if you drank that water and you could not excrete it out of your body and it was going to cause an infection and kill you, how much of your kingdom would you give to get rid of that glass of water from your body? He said, the other half of my kingdom. So the pauper said, your entire kingdom is worth a glass of water. I have that here. I also have some bread. I have blue skies. I have clothes that cover my aura. I have the birds chirping. I have my health. And I have the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in my heart and spitting on my tongue. What more can I want? This parable is obviously meant to be hyperbolic, but you get the point. Just be grateful. Be content. Be in a state of taslim to the qadr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because continuous ingratitude and an obsession for earthly justice is upstream to discontentment with Allah's qadr, and that is dangerous.